Good evening everyone, I'm Alexander Lintz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com. I am in my office today here in Vienna and uh, I will now try to give you a kind of a summary of the things I saw and discovered at the SIGH in Geneva. Um, yeah, the reason I'm wearing this uh, baseball cap uh, where you can read horological advisory explicit complication is that I'm very proud to own one because this baseball cap was given to me by A. Lange und Söhne. Um, 100 pieces were made and they gave them to some of the friends of the brand and the baseball cap of course is honoring the triple split, their fantastic chronograph Alang and Zöne presented during the SIHH. It's the most advanced, complicated and crazy chronograph I've ever seen. Um, it's the only chronograph that, is e that uh, enables you to measure uh, additive and comparative times as long as 12 hours. So a normal split second chrono chronograph would do this for one hour, uh, for one minute. Alang and Zöne already presented the double split in the past, you know that, in 2004 and the double split was able to uh, measure 30 minutes but now with the triple split that has been presented during the SIGH the time was extended to 12 hours the amazing uh, watch is uh, built out of uh, comprised out of 567 components um, 100 pieces will be made and it will be sold for around 147,000 US dollars when it comes to the market um, a fantastic, yes, a must-have for all, a must-have chronograph for all your collectors out there. I uh, think there is nothing comparable on the market. The second brand I want to talk about is Audemars Piguet. Audemars Piguet presented um, a watch that really astonished me because it is so thin that you can't believe that uh, all the things they told us are really integrated in that little tiny case. It's a platinum case. It's a perpetual calendar that has been refought over. Uh, Julio Papi from Audemars Piguet had a brilliant idea. He um, um, put all the technology that normally you find in a kind of a three-story building up to one floor. So all the technology uh, that is needed to uh, show the uh, indications, the date, the month, the moon phase and so on on a perpetual calendar is now integrated on one floor and the watch became very very thin, only 2.89 millimeters thick and this is called Royal Oak RD2. It's uh, a perpetual calendar ultra thin watch that uh, is not yet ready to be sold but it is an uh, RD watch research and development watch and, and will probably come on the market in the next years but I can tell you you have to have once your hands on that watch if you can do it it's amazing. The next watch the Audemars Piguet showed is of course out of the Royal Oak collection why not I love the Royal Oak collection and uh, to celebrate the Royal Oak offshore that was uh, initially presented in 1993. Uh, Omar Pige did present the watch that was the first of its kind in 1993. They did a re-edition of the first oil of Offshore uh, with its blue dial. The watch almost looks like the original and um, honestly speaking you don't see that this watch has been um, initially made in 1993. It looks like new if it would have been designed, developed and manufactured just in 2018. It is still a gorgeous chronograph, one of a kind, a watch that in my eyes will never ever get old and will always stay an icon, an absolutely icon. So you have, if you do not yet own a really cool sports chronograph, I can only tell you go and have a look at the Royal Oak Offshore Collection of Audemars Piguet, you will be astonished. Um, so, talking about this, uh, this anniversary, uh, of course, uh, they also presented a tourbillon chronograph, uh, a limited edition of 2 times 50 uh, to, to honor and to celebrate the anniversary. 
um, it's a reinterpretation of the Royal Log Offshore, a watch uh, that in uh, reality looks much better than it does on the pictures. Honestly speaking, um, it's not my cup of tea or coffee. It's a watch I... Uh, it's cool, yes, it's a nice watch, it's a limited edition, it's a watch that is for sure going to uh, quickly, it's going to be sold very quickly to collectors but I wouldn't like to have one. I really am much more into the traditional oil oak. I'm a really big fan of this icon, uh, originally designed by Gérald Jantin. Um, bon Mercier surprised me by presenting its Beaumatic. That's uh, the very first watch uh, in the Richemont group that is using a silicone hairspring. Um, it's called Twin Spear Technology, it's a trademark, um, and it is the first watch in the entire Richmond group equipped with a silicon hairspring, um, anti-magnetic to 1500 Gauss. Uh, the watch has a power reserve of 50, uh, 120 hours of 5 days, I wanted to say 50 hours, my goodness, it's much more, 120 hours of 5 days is at, is a, a a keeping time in a very uh, precise way is chronometer certified and will be uh, sold for something like two and a half thousand euros so that's pretty an offer you get a really cool looking watch with uh, the mod with modern technology and I think uh, the silicon hairspring technology will after the launch uh, that it's now going to uh, that is going to be done with the Bomatic Clift and Bomatic of Bomber Messi make its way through all the other brands in the Richemont group. So I think it's the beginning of also silicon technology at Richemont.